we're talking about how to open the database, especially the opening encyclopedia in Fritz 19. Thomas, it's your turn. What to do, please? Yes, um, we have the Fritz 19 start screen open and then we go to a database one click on it and then we get a select database uh, quick list. In this list, the encyclopedia 2024 is, is, not, is not there because we haven't it opened yet. But in this case, we can click on other, which opens the Windows Explorer. Then we go to documents, chess base, bases, encyclopedia 2024. And then we pick up this file and click on open. There we go. That's definitely some games. And the next step is that we are switching to text. We are now in the games tab. We switch to the text tab because then we see the start screen of the Encyclopedia 2024. I understand. So, but what is uh, the benefit from this now? The Encyclopedia offers a lot of opening suggestions, opening repertoires. This is, this is located here, Ideas for Your Repertoire. And uh, for instance, when you now go to open games and you pick up one of these uh, repertoire uh, suggestions, I, I, would, I would pick up here this Max Lange attack from Robert Ries from 2016. We have now a new function in, in Fritz 19, which can be used to play against uh, the suggestions of this repertoire with the Fritz characters. Oh, okay. So let's do this. We have now an article about this, uh, this opening. Of course, you can read the article and, and to make you familiar with, with the details, uh, details you see there's, there's many text, many diagrams and also uh, game links. But if you don't want to read too much and just want to play the suggestions uh, directly against Fritz, you can go to games for this article, games for the article. Just one click on this. Now we have a games list. These are five annotated games and the database text. The first entry is the database text. And we can now select simply all. Well, first we have to click on one and then select all. Yeah, you can also use your keyboard. To With the normal shortcuts. Normal shortcuts, Control A or, so, or with Shift mouse click is mm -hmm. so works also. So this is the first step, well, selecting all. Then you switch from the home menu to the database menu. And there's the new function, play against with white and play against uh -huh. with black. This is new. And now you want to play with white, click on it. Now we have the initial position. Our tab is at notation. And if we now switch to openings book, we see that the program has automatically made from the games of, of this opening article a an, an database book. Mm -hmm. And this is the database book you can play against. Simply start with E4. And the program will stick to the moves that are in, in this line. Perfect. He has no choice. He has to do until, uh, I think, your eight, eighth move, he has, he has to make the answer. Unless you are making a different move, for example, queen h5 or something like this. Okay, I will not do this no, because please I don't. want to train this. <laughs> So I can I can in this in this way I can I can make me familiar with, with the moves, even if I don't know the opening. I just have to look. Ah, okay, I have to castle. Uh, he plays knight f6. Okay, now I go d4. He takes. I play pawn to e5. D5 counterattack. I take the knight. He takes my bishop. And uh, now now we see we have two choices: rook e1 or, or f takes g7. And of course, you can now read in the article if you want to, to know something about this. Or you can simply play on if you like. And an interesting thing uh, if, when you play against a program is that you can also explore without playing because we have a second board. Uh, I, will, I will make the first board a little bit smaller. You can do this here with, with this... Uh, And then you, you go here on, on, on this one and you make the second board a little bit. No, and, and now you can, if, if, you, if you click now on, on moves, you see that on the playing board, nothing has changed. But, but on, your exploring, ah. on your exploring board, uh, the moves are made. No? Mm, you have to use the mouse in this case. You can't use your keyboard okay. controls. No? You, have, you have to use a mouse. 
and then you can uh, go to some position which which maybe is interesting or, 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 or read this. Huh? So it's like a little bit of a sneak preview for your learning to see how the position looks yeah. like, to yeah. look at yeah, what combinations and options yeah. you have, etc. One, one very important thing is, um, first of all, this, uh, for me this is a, a little bit uh, too small, the notation. No? Also, I would like to, to have it a little bit uh, uh, bigger and I can and change the font simply. Ah, uh, nice. Maybe 12 is, it's, I, I, I will select 18 here. Okay. The second very important thing is, um, because, because now in, in, this, in this book, all, all the games which are sometimes heavily annotated are merged into one overview. Mm. And of course, this is a lot of stuff. And uh, in order to, to, uh, to see the structure of, of, the, of, the, of the thing, you can click on this little microscope. This will fold all variations. Perfect. And now we, I think it's much so easier. So much here. nicer, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and so you can, and, and, and for instance, uh, look, okay, I, I want to explore this, this uh, rookie one check line, and you click on the plus, and then it folds up, but not everything. It just for, shows you, okay, there, there's the answer, king f8 or bishop e6. And there's also an annotation, bishop e6 is the main line. Okay, I want to know. Um, how the main line goes and I click on plus. So we advance a bit and then this yeah. opens up. I click on bishop e6 and I see it on the board. Mm -hmm. And yet now there's there's a yellow underlined. You see this is the main line, how it goes. Gotcha. So you can can easily follow this. Uh, this is then f4, queen d5, queen f3, bishop e7. So if you if you w simply want to go a little bit further with other moves, you can uh, click on this and see this could be a position uh, happening in the main line. No? Mm -hmm. So there's one thing which uh, we uh, have to mention too. If we're in one of those lines, whatever it is, let's say, I just go here for example. Uh, how can we get the position from here to the main board? Is yes. there an option? Yes. Oh, oh. that's great. So, so the one position which is Let's just take this one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And there's a there's feature you can simply right click on, 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 on a move and you can select play from here. Perfect. And this will bring the position from the exploring board to the, to the playing board and you can Continue directly play there. on against Fritz. You can also use click and check. It's very interesting. So if you if you have your idea which which uh, move you want to, to make, you can you can uh, click on the click on the piece, and then you see there are many many red squares. So there's no good move for the for the rook, or you can click on the knight. You see there are also no good moves. I'm almost assuming it might be the bishop on h6. Oh, bishop I might have been right. Yeah, would be would you care? <laughs> yes. But do you think the queen? No, no, no it's the bishop. It's, it's bishop, <laughs> bishop, bishop, bishop b3, yeah, taking, taking the, the knight. So this is just a quick addition, but uh, now we have added the database. Uh, we wanted to use the encyclopedia. So yeah. if we click on database, it shows up now for the next yeah. time. And this and, is and the... Not only encyclopedia shows up, but also... Um, uh, this this article we have selected, so you can this way can, can you can uh, go directly to this article. Perfect. Again.